Morning, everyone. It's uh, 847 and it's Thursday morning. This is video number 912. And since it's Thursday, it's Claims Day. Okay, uh, Asia and Europe, both a little lower. Jackson Hole today. There will probably be a bunch of news out. There have already been uh, Judy Shelton talking last night, Bullard on CNBC this morning. Um, so there will be a lot of noise. Uh, claims numbers, 353,000 initial claims. That's up slightly, about 8,000. Continuing claims, 2 million. 862 versus 2,820. So also a slight increase there. Second look at Q2 GDP came in a little stronger. Uh, it was actually expected to be 6.7. It came in at 6.6. .6. That's versus 6.5 last look. The problem is the PCE. Um, that number came in at 6.1, and that's up 1%. That's personal consumption expenditures. So cost of stuff going up, that's no surprise to anybody who listens here. I've been yammering about that now for 18 months. Okay, so big news out of Washington. Cybersecurity meeting. People are going to do something the CEOs said, we're going to try and do something about cybersecurity. Duh. Okay, enough of the political BS. Uh, we had earnings yesterday and this morning. CRM up 728 at 268.13. Uh, that's a continuation move. Looks pretty decent. Not at a new high. The old high was 284, I believe. So uh, making progress. Uh, it's probably the main reason why the Dow shows up 40, while the S&P is down three and a half and the NASDAQ is down 35. Uh, CRM replaced Exxon in the Dow. Uh, we also had William Sonoma, great numbers, 196.75, up 26. Uh, Sanderson Farms is beat. Uh, nobody actually cares because Sanderson Farms is being taken over. So there is no upside or downside based on earnings there. Uh, this morning, we had Dollar General and Dollar Tree. Dollar General beat top and bottom. Dollar Tree missed on revenues, beat on earnings. Both are down. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, Dollar General, uh, which closed yesterday 234.74, up a dollar 99, traded as high as 238 on the headline, and then right back down to 223.11. Last is 223.85. That's down 10.89 or 4.6 percent. Dollar Tree, as I said, missed on revenues, closed 106.32 yesterday, up a dollar 11 on the headline number of earnings, traded up to. 113, then turned down and traded all the way down to 99.38. Last is 100 spot 50, down 582, or just under 6%. Uh, Autodesk also beat top and bottom line. Stock is 316, down 2627, 7.7%. And the Big winner, Ulta Beauty, again. You know, this stock, I've seen this stock up 75 and down 75 in the past on on uh, earnings news. Uh, closed 389.90 yesterday, up 16.05. Uh, this morning traded up as high as 418.74. Last is 412.22. Two uh, up twenty three, fifteen, five point nine percent, and I just wanted to give you a brief look at that. Since yesterday's low, to today's high, the stock is up over fifty dollars.
So pretty nice move. And uh, just want to show you, uh, this, this was an earnings miss, and the stock went from 294 all the way down to 124. So uh, over a three, four week period, uh, the stock collapsed 50%. Uh, same situation here, went from 342 to 235, also earnings. Uh, but uh, this one is, this one tends to be pretty much uh, in one direction uh, with the exception of COVID and those two earnings. All right, oil, inside day so far. Lower high, higher low. Really not doing much. It's down 85 cents. Um, but yesterday was the third higher high, higher low day. Ran right through uh, the uh red line, which is the 100-day moving average, uh, traded, closed just a touch above the blue line, which is a 20-day, but nonetheless needs, I've been saying, needs a little bit of consolidation in here. The uh, five-day is turned and headed higher, take another two or three days uh, for it to break to the upside and another two or three days consolidation in this area would be very healthy for it. Uh, the one that we missed yesterday because it made its uh, pullback overnight, the net gas, same kind of situation as the oil except a little bit more compact and has been consolidating now for one, two, three, four, five five full days here. Um, the five day also has turned up. It's headed towards that 20 day. We are above the 20 day. We're also above the 50, 100 and 200 day. Uh, there's a little tiny trend line in here that I drew. Not sure that it's really valid since we go through it here, but we never closed below it. Um, I'm looking for, uh, you know, close over $4. Yesterday, we were as high as 402 uh, and change. Came back down, closed near the low, but in fact, up nine-tenths of a cent. And this morning, we're right in the same spot. Um, we tried to buy the UNG basis where we were trading at the open, and it reversed within the nine to 930 area um, what I thought we could get at 35 cents actually closed yesterday at 45 cents and had traded as high as 60 uh, so you can see UNG is up 21 cents this morning on uh, the recovery overnight and into the open uh, that's really about it. The gold came down uh, yesterday, not doing much today, down a dollar twenty, now down, pardon me, seven seventy. So we're getting into some pretty good support in the gold too, if it can hold and consolidate here, work off this huge move to the upside. Um, I'd really like to I'd really not like to see it close below seventeen seventy eight twenty. Um, and we could move a little higher. Um, these moving averages look like they're all trying to roll over to the downside. I'm not sure that that's actually going to happen. Um, you know, we remember we were down from 1835 to 1675 uh, uh, and bounced back up at the end of the week two weeks ago. We're in this consolidation. But again, you know, a close below 1763.10 on Friday tomorrow would be a serious cause for concern. Uh, Bitcoin is uh, down 1670, Ethereum down 121, the dollar is up 13 cents, and the bonds are again lower. So uh, they should be getting a little on the oversold. This market has confounded me. I've lost money the last three times I've traded it. Uh, and frankly, 
uh, um, just kind of sitting and watching, looking for a real extreme. Yesterday, it closed on this uptrend line. This morning, it's a little bit below it. Uh, if we got back down into this uh, low around 162 and a half, I might consider going long, but fundamentally, it just does not make sense. All right, everyone, that's it for this morning. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the uh, notifications, and I'll be back after the close, unless something happens during the day. Have a good one.